pay $499 a month for Tinder's uh, new subscription plan. So obviously not. I'm not. That's that's a car payment. That How many time. times did you get piped down this year? You think I keep a tally? I thought I do. Not piped down, but I was doing the pipe. <laughs> How many, times did you get, how many times you get piped no, down? No, 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 no. I was doing the pipe. I think, honestly, my worst fear about get, getting it in age, my worst fair. Gray hair? No. Losing hair? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, that is my you worst fear. You think you're gonna fear. go I, I don't know, I don't wanna think about it. I don't know, I see all these I see all these men flying the turkey right. to get so. their shit done. And I'm over here just like, do I need to prepare myself? <laughs> No, premium. what the fuck? Why did we start <laughs> off with that? I don't, I don't pay it. for that Show me, shit. show me right now. Show me. How do you, how do you show you? You know, don't play dumb with me right now. <laughs> don't play dumb. My phone dead. You still pay for it? No. How I, much I, you pay a month? Not that tender bullshit. <laughs> I can tell you that. I like, said hinge. How much you pay but, on hinge? No, I don't, I don't pay for it anymore. But when I did, I think it was like 20 bucks. A month? Yeah. And what were the benefits of paying for Hinge? You get like a limited likes and then like more people can see you because they restrict like how many people can uh -huh. see you. You get unlimited likes and like you can have more preferences in terms of like what you're specifically looking for. And like you could put more detail into, you just could, it just gives you a, ample opportunity to put in more effort into your profile. Mm -hmm. And to give you better options is meet people. And how'd that work out for you? It's not shit. They ain't help. So, waste of 20. <laughs> would you pay $499 a month for Tinder's uh, new subscription plan? So, obviously not. I'm not... That's that's a car payment. Tinder for, Vault membership. It says, choose your membership. Member, only a limited number of seats will be available for the subscription. One month is $499, or you can pay for a full year so for $4,999. Five, five racks. But I'm saying, like, what are and the And you can benefits? message literally anyone. Wait, so, like... I'm pretty sure that's the so benefit. So you don't match. You don't match with anybody. You could just message I'm sure you anybody. can, but even people you don't match with, I think you can message. Yeah, but I feel like... See, here's the thing. I feel like if you just put your Instagram in your, like, your bio, you uh -huh. could do that, too. You know what I mean? So it's just like... I feel, that's just a hell of a waste of money. Like... But that that that's all that's that's really the only reason. I'm pretty thing? sure it's kind of like gives you unlimited access to people on there. So even like even if like let's say someone tried to match with me and I didn't want to match with them, they could still message me. That's like that's basically so you pay for, you're basically paying for Instagram in a sense because you can message anybody on Instagram. Obviously, you have the choice to reply or right. receive it. But that's basically right. what you're doing. And I still ignore them. That's yeah. You you're paying to get ignored. That's really what it is. But. Got to see it through. What, my boy. I want to know the principle someone of how said, they got to that price. So on the post about this, someone said, "For five hundred dollars, that shit better tell you which shorties are ovulating in your area." Imagine they had a map. Someone said, <laughs> "I'll never be that single." Yeah, no, not to pay no car payment every month. Five hundred to get to find a man. I'm gonna just get a gym membership. Shit, that's a lot less. That's <laughs> fucking sure. It's like nine nine nine. Shit, better tell you who got them diseases. I think that's valid. I think I think <laughs> those apps should tell you now. For four ninety nine, you better be able to build a spouse. Damn right. Damn right. Does this cover the wedding too? Because I'm confused. I promise you, I don't want to date that bad. <laughs> but like, the th the crazy thing is, people are probably paying for this. Like a, a good amount of people are probably pay for it. Five k a year for Tinder. You might as well invest in a BBL and a good camera. Facts. Get on OnlyFans, you can do that. Sheesh. Crazy. Is someone said is Jesus handpicking your match? <laughs> if only. If only. I just five hundred a month. I no, I don't know where and this is where I'm confused. I don't know where they got that number from. Like what <laughs> what like what when 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 they sat down together as a collective group mm -hmm. and said, Okay, we're gonna charge four hundred or four hundred and ninety nine dollars a month. You know what I mean? Uh huh here's what we offer. Well, I think How what is it that... is, is they probably had tiers or like memberships or people that were already paying. Because <clears throat> can't you pay for like extra matches? Like, I don't know how Tinder, Tinder, I don't know how Tinder works. Well, they always, like every every time you go on, because you're blocked on there, but they always, 
they always um, offer you like different promo. Like you yeah. got the basic. Pay more for middle, this. Pay yeah. more for this. And I obviously everybody's seen. So that. clearly there was enough people paying for that or more and reaching the limit that they were like, damn, we need to add another tier for someone to pay five hundred a month because this person's probably paying however high the other shit is. We might as well just throw in a four ninety nine tier. And is you it know like what's an crazy? Only? I think at one point it said that, but Wait, it see. says a limited number. And when people say things are limited or exclusive, it just makes people pay for them faster. That's like the whole point. It's yeah. just like, oh, I got to get in on this. Wait, let me see. There's cause... no fucking way. But honestly, we've, we've seen it. We've seen the studies. It's literally mostly men that pay for this shit. Pay for subscriptions. Yeah. Pay for more matches. Pay to send roses on Hinge. Pay for premium. I've pay never, to see I've more girls. That, though. Pay for what? Roses? Your subscription, I think, lets you, doesn't it? No, but like, you, even if you don't have a subscription, you can pay for more roses. I don't see that as a like. What does a rose do? I don't think when, it does when I anything. see when I see someone like me versus someone sent me a rose, I'm I like, I think they're just like, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I feel like they they feel like you stand out a little <laughs> bit more than yeah. other people, but at the same time, it's just like you didn't necessarily have to send the rose. You know, yeah, I, I think. I, I get it. It's like, oh, I, I think a little bit more. It's like a super so, like, in a yeah, sense. yeah, I don't know. Like, I think a little bit more of this person, or I'm super attracted to them, or something. Yeah. But honestly, when I get a like versus a rose, it doesn't make a difference. Well, I just went on Tinder, and obviously they have the Tinder Gold, Tinder Platinum, How much and are these? Tinder Plus. It. Uh, let me see. So if you go, if you all right. So if you did Tinder Gold, mm -hmm. it's eighteen ninety nine a month. Okay. okay? Now, if oh. you do, oh, oh my fault. Uh, Tinder Plus is the the lowest one that's twelve ninety nine a month. Okay. Okay. So what that gives you is unlimited likes, mm. see who likes you, mm. and priority likes. All right. Okay. And then one free boost per month, five free super likes, and a message before match. You get one message before matching. Basically, is what that was. All oh. right. So that's the basic. Now. One message before. Oh, you can send. I see. I don't know. You can send messages <laughs> that, before matching. Something. Now the next one is tender goal, where is unlimited likes, see who likes you, priority like. Oh, you don't get priority likes. Um, unlimited uh, rewinds, meaning you can go back if you accidentally swipe forward. Mm -hmm. One free boost per month. I guess boost just boost your profile. Five super likes per week. Um, passport and tap uh, top picks control. Oh yeah, so I guess you could travel all over with the passport. That's right? what I did. Yeah, to catch the cheetah. Yeah. And then oh shit, I didn't purchase that. Oh my god. Uh, Eighteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm still waiting for my refund. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then tender platinum, obviously. You get unlimited likes, see who likes you, uh -huh. priority likes, unlimited rewinds, free boost per month, five super likes, uh, messages before matching, passport topics, control your profile, control who sees you, control who you see, hide ads. So you get- So no ads. Yeah. Well, that's twenty four ninety nine. That's the highest? Yeah. That's but, so beyond that, is there other things you can buy? No, that's Besides it. the subscriptions? No, uh, like if Extra you just shit. have a- Extra shit, you can buy more boosts, you can more buy boosts more super boost likes. Their profile. Yeah, that just shoots your profile. So someone, like, somewhere in this, <laughs> whoever's using this app, there had to be someone, <coughs> at least a few, that were spending a whole lot of money on Tinder. Yeah, but they're, and they're like, you know what? Let's just give them unlimited shit for five hundred dollars a month. I just don't. I don't see. I don't. I don't see how anybody could spend that much though. It's. It You'd just, be it surprised. No, like it does. Like if if you have the highest one, which is twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. A month, right? But if you add more boosts, you add more other shit. Say you add like five boosts. I think five. Like one boost is three ninety nine. I don't know anything about this shit. Bro, you're coming around almost fifty bucks a month. That still doesn't I'm equivalent. Saying, like they probably do a lot more than that. More than you would expect. That's crazy. That's crazy. But like I said, we went on there and we couldn't get, find it. So I think it's an invite only type thing. Yeah, probably at this point. But Isn't there a dating app that's like for exclusively like celebs, like a celebs? Was that what it's called? How do you get on that? You have to apply. I have a friend. She's, I think, I'm pretty sure she says she got on there. Yeah. But you have you haven't applied for that? I feel like you should. I feel like you might be at the, not, I mean, I don't think it's like the A-list. Well, it is A-list celebs, but also like people of higher status. I feel like you can go on there and be successful. That might honestly be what you're missing, honestly. You you might need to be start fucking with a higher caliber. That doesn't mean they're high, high caliber. No, but I'm saying like... I think I'm good on the dating apps at this point. I think you're good on just dating. Let's yeah. be, I'll be honest. How, how deep your roster is right now? And we're just so y'all know, it's Christmas time is here, so she's about to make cuts as she well, this, moves this, into the new year. This <laughs> episode is going to air after Christmas. Oh. Oh, she's so going to make cuts. probably by the time this airs, zero. Uh, 
Oh, okay. They're all gone. So, how many? How many? How many do you T have? T minus three days. How many do you have? I don't know what you're say? talking about. This is supposed to be an open space, safe space. Yeah, it is a safe it. space. You, me, and the world. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't have any, then how are you going to get rid of? Exactly. So you, so you're going to restart then in the new year. New year, new me, bullshit. Hell no. Nah, you're going to be on the same same shit. shit. <laughs> No, but you know, you know the drill. We say it every year. You don't do shit for Christmas. It's over. Is oh, I thought it was the birthday that was really the big one. Birthday, Valentine. Christmas, Valentine's Day, <coughs> three strikes. Like what the fuck? So they really don't do shit. Like say they just met you, right? It, it, that's okay. But if they know you for like a minute, right? If they, if you are telling me, I'm you're my girl. Yeah. Even though we're not together, but you're saying shit like you're my girl. Oh, I know somebody saying that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. <laughs> or I'm so interested in you and I can't, I want to get to know you. I want to go on dates with you. I, I've, I've been attracted to you since the moment I saw you in person. I feel like this is coming from a place that you done wrote this down. You said two people. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I told you about both of them. Oh, yeah. Uh, There's so many. I just believe. something like that. Or just depends on the situation. Basically, you should know by now. So say they send you flowers, though. Like is that is for that, Christmas? Say they send you some nice Christmas flowers. I'm pretty sure there's a thing called Christmas flowers, maybe. Let's, but I mean, say say they did let's that. Let's not do that. But I'm saying, say they did. Does that get them to the next round? Sure. Okay. The problem is they do nothing. You can't call me your girl, say you want to be with me, or that you're trying so hard to date me and see where it goes but you're so interested in me and trying to do all this shit and do nothing yeah i mean facts if you do nothing facts you're just all talk and you know me i don't like all talk i need a i need actions behind the words because you say this but you do nothing that means you don't really fuck with me that's fine facts. just leave me the fuck alone facts. i'm okay with that and that's what you know it is what it is you know what i mean you gotta kind of and restart. it's not one sided i already you did something? I already prepared shit. Oh, yeah, you did. You did. You did. I already prepared right. shit just in case. For both? For both of them? Just in case. I prepare shit. But when they do nothing, they don't even try to make an effort. It's like, oh, got to return this so shit. So how many, how many gifts would you say you done got your side pieces? I don't have any side pieces because I don't have a main. Or how many? How many? I don't know what you're talking about. It's crazy how she just re just know. <laughs> doubled down there. <laughs> just know. When this airs after Christmas, if you didn't do anything... You are now removed off the roster. Yeah, but here's the thing with you. I feel like some people, they get You can make up for shit. Okay. But I feel like there's some people on your roster that probably won't do shit, and you're not going to mm. remove them. There's at least two. There are different positions on the roster. There are different positions. So some positions have get more leeway than have others. Have better benefits than others. Ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Certain roles require have di different requirements. Uh, you know, just like, like different job titles. I right, Grinch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that Grinch? I don't know. It just sounded just right. Different job titles have different requirements. So basically, so basically, you're a company, right? And you hire yeah. certain jobs. I hire and fire. Are you hire and fire certain jobs? And these are interviews. And and well, no, they got through some of them. There's still many interviews Three probably trial. going on. Three month trials. So, th so, so nine day Six, probation period. Yeah, ninety okay. day, one hundred twenty day. Who's HR with? Is you HR? I am the owner. I'm the CEO, CEO CFO, CFO, HR, HR. <laughs> you, you're everything. You're every. Okay, okay. I am the ultimate decider of everything. Yeah. What's my position? As in you this should company? be with your life. Okay. Do I have a position in this company? Fuck no. Damn, what position would you have? Maybe an assistant or... You liaison? don't know nothing I can't that give, goes on. I can't give my 50 cents? I feel like you have a position in my company. 100%. As what? You're like, you're like my... Not my secretary. You're like my CFO. Like you... you, you Would the CFO be... Chief financial officer? Nah, you're not really my chief financial officer. You're more like... I'm HR. Yes, I was, yeah, I would say you're more my HR because I go to uh, hey, I have a dilemma here. You, you tell me your problem. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And I try to give you solutions, but you don't listen. You know, HR is you know human you resources. You don't listen. But no, you you would be my HR. I'm just the person you vent to, and I'm like, okay, this makes sense or this doesn't. I, but I, at the same time, I feel like everybody needs an HR in their in their life. All right, I'll give you the HR position. See, but here's the thing. Your but I only HR? go to you if I really yeah. just want to talk shit. 
I feel like you don't go to anybody when you're just like fuck no. Yeah, like the only time you come to me is when it's like really, really bad. You like really, really bad. I'll tell you shit. Like no, if if it's like I'll tell you shit. If it's subtle talking shit, I'm not asking shit, for advice. It's just yeah, no, you really don't ask for advice. You just you. It's more of you just stating situations, facts, and what happened. Not necessarily. You, you know, oh, what should I yeah, do? Yeah, you ask for advice. I just, I ask for advice. Well, obviously, you have more experience in, you know, living than I do. You do. Yeah. And you 38, never, you know. I am not 38. Sorry, you 39, and my fault. 34, and, you know. You still don't even know my age. 36. It's nuts. No. Not 36. God, we're, I said 34. we're done. We're not friends anymore. What? 35, motherfucker. Okay. I said 34, so you should have just went with that. You don't look thirty five though. Okay, I don't need I don't need this. Thank you. Skin glowing. You didn't use that moisturizer, I got you. I'm literally <laughs> wearing a cake down makeup right now, <laughs> and you're talking about my skin. I'm like, what the fuck? What moisturizer? I haven't given you that. Yeah, you haven't given me. Sh- I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> but damn, yeah, no, I would say I would say you're at more so HR for me. Where's your roster at? I, so I don't like to call it a roster. Ending the year. Since we're not going to do end of year recaps where, like where we did we last year. Yeah. Where we went on this many dates and this many da 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 Well, I can tell you how many. I didn't I didn't go on. I, yeah, I did way less well, I, this I, year Yeah, I think both year. of us did a lot less a shit. A whole lot less this year. Compared to the year. <laughs> to 2022? Yeah, we were. I mean, you was on some shit. No, it wasn't. Not shit, but like you I went on more dates. I did less dates than you. 2022? Yeah. No, Our you did recaps? More. I'm pretty sure you, you were did like, more. I went on 30 dates. And mine was like 10. Hmm. Yo, you're right. Well, this year, a lot less. I think I did maybe three dates this year. No. Yeah, no, I swear. I think I did maybe three dates this year. 100%. Maybe less. How many dates you did this year? Like three, four? Mm. You just did one not too long ago. Would you count that as a date, though? Yeah. Okay, so. Dinner? Well, y'all was friends, so it didn't. What are you talking about? Who are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm talking about M I C K E. M I K E. I said M I C K E. You just said your own name, Mickey. Fuck, I did. We got to bleep that out. I can't let these men know. I can't let them know the name. It was a dinner date. What are you talking about? Wait, so how many dates roughly? I don't know. I'm going to go with five. Five? Five. Five solid dates. Five solid dates? Yeah. And how many times, you, you know, you done got piped down? What the fuck? I, that's, I thought that was the recap. Then we... Just, uh, there was no recap. How many times did you fuck? Hmm. Cut that up. How, I thought that was the recap How many time. times did you get piped down this year? You think I keep a tally? I thought... I do. Not piped down, but... I was doing the pipe. <laughs> how many times did you get... I was doing the pipe. How many times you get piped no, down? No, 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 no. <laughs> I was doing the pipe. <laughs> Peter Piper. Oh, you doing the bending? <laughs> Don't do that. Not the Janet Jackson quote. <laughs> oh, oh. Ain't nobody doing the bending over here. Oh, oh. So Daddy you doing the bending? Bending you over. <laughs> that line. If we can put a clip on that line. But uh, no, nah, I ever. Re- you keep a tally? Like, how many girls I've been with? J- well, okay, yeah, but like, That's how many times you pipe? No, like, how many girls I've been with? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not a tally, but like I don't I, think we counted bodies in our. But recap. I keep I like to keep tabs in a sense. Oh my god! I'm say crying. for example, oh I'm pregnant. You don't know. You know what I mean? It's, well, I mean, god. I just like to keep tabs. I feel like that's okay. Yeah, no, do your thing. I mean, do you not? I mean, I feel like you don't, but then in your head you do. What am I keeping tabs on? What are you saying? Like who you been with? Obviously, I know who I've been with. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I don't keep a list though. It's not necessarily. I don't a have list. a it's notes just, app where I'm like. Add a name to the list. <laughs> no, nah, I don't add them to a list, but in my head, I'm just, damn, that seemed like a long list. You just scroll through two fucking pages there. <laughs> what are you talking about? You <laughs> Maybe I'll scroll through my notes <laughs> to get to the list. <laughs> but no, I think I think this year I did like at least three dates. Um, roster wise, um, if, if I could give like a short recap, I think my dates were, con- my dates, I did have more restaurant dates than I did have coffee dates. So yeah. you're saying you only had three days, including coffee dates? Yeah. Like one on one coffee day and like two restaurant dates this year. I think you went on more, but. No, I mean, I, if I, if I'll play it safe, I'll say like six. Just double it. Yeah. No, no. I mean, <laughs> you know, you got to bad. double it. 
<laughs> I'd say like six, and I I would say, um, more so dinner dates or like uh-huh. not necessarily the coffee dates. I I think. So I did what less. are you planning to do for twenty twenty four, date wise or relationship wise? Um, what are I'm, your goals for twenty twenty four dating? Dating wise, mm-hmm. I think kind of do more i i think i want to do more dinner dates i want to do more activities i want to i've I realized so that i plan I do, to go on more dates I, I yeah but like plan on going on more dates in terms of like i don't want to just go to coffee dates like i want to do like maybe some bowling activities stuff like that I, i've reconnected with my love to bowling um i used to i used to love playing bowling you got your own bowling ball no nah, and i'm not that serious anymore shoes i low-key need to invest in some mm-hmm. shoes mm-hmm. i just feel like that would be suffice Mm-hmm. But no, no, I don't have my own shoes. But huh. I think I want to go on more dates in terms of activities, like fun activities, like bowling, putt putt. You know, not just dinner, yeah. but maybe do more dinner dates, more, maybe more drinks. Um, I think date with intentions. You know what I mean? You know, obviously, I, uh, shocker. A date with just more, date, wandering I, I, aimlessly through life. No, I think dating with more intentions. You know what I mean? Like, what, what more intentions? <laughs> like more serious intentions. Like, okay, I'm dating to hopefully this goes to a relationship or this goes to something okay. bigger than so just. not just aimlessly dating. In a sense, yes. With no goal in mind. 100%. Um, Thank God. I think, what are some other goals uh, for myself in terms of dating? Um, be more uh, open-minded in terms of like women or children, you know. Because I wasn't closed minded with yes, that. Yes, you were. I'm not dating no one with a kid. No, I mean, it's not necessarily true. I just felt you like. You want to be a stepdaddy? No, I, just, I feel like that's just so hard. I feel like hard. you like kids. I love kids, but I feel like it's. I feel like that is so hard, though. Like it's, You do realize, okay, I know I'm in my 30s, but you're close to 30. And the yeah, older thanks. you get, the more, more likely, likely they're yeah. already going to have a kid. 100%. Okay? No, 100%. And. So why, like, just because someone has a kid doesn't mean anything. Yeah, and I don't necessarily shit shoot it down. or, like, shit doesn't work out. Like, there's nothing wrong with having a kid. And I don't necessarily shoot it down right off bat. But you know, as long as they're a good parent. Yeah, 100%. That's what matters. Because if anything, you see how they are as a parent. Yeah. So if you have kids with them eventually, you know what I mean? Yeah, facts. Um, so, you know, be be more open-minded in terms of that. Mm-hmm. Um, Less shallow. I wouldn't say it like that, I mean, but yes, okay. If that's what the word you want to use, yes. poor, uh, poor word choice. Mm. Um, on my opinion, word choice. yeah, whatever. But I think you know, I think those are the steps that I'm trying to. And it, I think for, this is a big goal for me, and this is me personally. I would like to remove myself from dating apps and try and really see. Okay, let mm-hmm. me, like, because that hasn't worked. Let's be honest. Your if whole it, life, right? Yeah, that 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 hasn't <laughs> in my dating life that ne- necessarily has not worked. And I grew up on the generation on dating apps. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I feel like okay, maybe let me take a couple steps back and kind of start from fresh. Take, now, take a break from it. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna sit there and you know be sliding every fucking DM because I don't really do that anyways. Uh-huh. But it's just like maybe if I just remove myself from that, something that I didn't really expect will come. They say it's when you least expect it. Yeah, so maybe, maybe if you stop looking, you never know. Yeah. So I feel like that that would be my that that would be my goal, right? right. There. You know what I mean, I, and I feel like those are good goals. I feel like. Do you believe in? Um, they always say, <laughs> I've seen girls post it and post recaps that eating grapes under the table at at midnight for New Year's, you're supposed to meet your partner that next year. And I've seen recaps of girls who did it last New Year's. Eating grapes under the table. Is that like a girl thing though? No, it's like, you know, like traditions or like for good luck yeah. or for to find a partner. There's like all these like things that people say you're supposed to do at New Year's. Yeah. To... So I forget one. My aunt told me about one. It was something And then the I've door. seen girls do recaps and they like showed them eating grapes on the table New Year's and then they're all like in relationships now yeah. this year. I'm not going to eat no grape under no table. You wouldn't try that? No, I mean, I mean, have you done it? No. So maybe this is some advice mm, you should take I'll for yourself. It. I'll yeah. try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know you ain't in no relationship. Um, yeah, so, neither are you. No, yeah. It's probably because I ain't eating no grapes under no table. But who knows? This we, our year. You know what I mean? So I mean, I don't know. I don't know what twenty twenty four has to come in terms of dating relationship wise. But like you said, I ain't getting much. I ain't getting younger. So I'm not saying rush or no. Like, and I'm not saying that either. But all I'm saying is like 
you can't be against certain things. Like yeah, you have to be. Are, you have to keep an open mind. You have to meet someone as they are and accept them as they are, or they're not for you. But at the same time, like having a kid, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with someone being a great <laughs> parent. I think it's like not a negative to get in a relationship with someone like that if they're a great parent. One hundred percent. I think the number one thing for me that I'm hoping that changes on like maybe a woman's perspective on like us men is not really letting our age defy you know our intentions and who we are. Because I, f- I felt like one of the issues that I had mm-hmm. you know in the past or in the past, this year was I would I would. I would meet women. I don't know. I couldn't get that out. I would. I would fucking. Hey, I, I wanted to say something, but you. I knew it'd piss you off. Yeah, you'd probably say something else. Spit it out. out. Yeah. But I wanted to. When I was meeting women outside, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. It all would seem great. You know what I mean. We have conversation. Mm-hmm. You know whatever it may be. And then when they found out my age, they got all turned off. And that's mm-hmm. happened like three or four times. And I'm just mm-hmm. like. Because a lot of times, guys in their twenties aren't. Yeah, but looking to settle down. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm just like, listen, you haven't even really got to know me yet to really know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the fact that you hear. But you weren't looking for anything. That, that's not necessarily true. <laughs> you don't know that, Michael. No, but I'm saying like roll the clips. <laughs> that's not necessarily true, but at the same time, it's just like you made a. Regardless if I was looking or not looking, you made a prejudgment that because of my age, I'm already removed from the category. But I also made it clear, like, okay. When you get experience, when you experience <coughs> multiple men in the same age group and they don't want anything serious, then the next one you meet, same age group, you're going to be like, oh, here we go again. Yeah, well, 30 ain't shit either. You know what I mean? Some men in their 30s, you know this, are worse than some men in their 20s. I think it's just men. A hundred percent. You know what I mean? No, I, I'm not disagreeing with that. So the fact <laughs> of the matter is, damn, uh, you. Men in their 30s and 40s married with kids. Exactly. Still. So, same like, shit. And it's crazy, but I think that would be like my little thing, you know, that I would like women to be more, you know, inclusive to men that are younger than them, in a sense. You okay, so I mean? that you just don't want someone to judge you. I don't. I don't necessarily age. want them to judge me. Yeah, I don't want them to be put off without getting to know me off that. Mm-hmm. Like I, I met, I, was, I met this one girl. I, she she looked good. She, I didn't. Uh, uh, I didn't know her age, mm-hmm. nor did I ask. But I was like, she she's attractive. You yeah. know what I mean. And as soon as she found my age out the next day, she was like, I can't do this. Hmm. And I was like, I was like, in a sense, I was like, okay, she might be like 40 or 50. You know, is that, you know what I mean? But she didn't look like that. No. So I was just like, what is the issue? And I think she told me she was like maybe like 30, 35. You know hmm. what I mean? And I'm just like, um, you're only, you know, a couple years, you know what I mean? A little more than a couple. Oh, now it's only a couple. Yeah, but mm. you know what I mean? It's, it wasn't that much. You right. know what I mean? But I think, well, it would make more sense. I get a lot of guys that are like twenty. I get on TikTok. They're like, "How young will you date?" And yeah. I'm just like, "What the fuck?" I could understand if thirty five. They're like, talk to a "I just year. turned eighteen. I said, oh, "Hell shit. no!" All right, that's crazy. That one yeah, guy yeah, you yeah. trying to set me up with? I didn't try to. I didn't do that. Don't don't don't. Uh, I didn't try to set you up. I just you Facetime me. One of my then, partners wanted to say what's up, and then said he just turned eighteen, and I said, "What the fuck?" Listen, he's legal. I barely. I ain't never stopped you. It has. I've never, ever, ever, ever. 18, you're insane. But you've gone to 20. I've what? You've gone to 20. No. You haven't gone to 20. The biggest age gap was probably... Seven years? 10. 21 when I was 31. Yeah. Well, it's not that bad. Yeah. But I'm saying, but at least, like, I feel like you don't, you didn't jump the gun. You got to know the person at least and be like, oh, your age is, I mean, you had your reservations, right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, just like some, some ladies, they don't even give you like. Yeah, no, I, I give it a chance, but yeah. not like under 21 or but like, 22 or whatever she, I right felt like now. She, I felt like she made it seem like I was like 22. Just based I was off like, of age. Yeah. I was like, I was 20, I'm 27. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, damn, I'm almost a 30. Getting old as hell. Calm down, Jamal. But, uh, you know, damn, nigga, you don't have gray hair start popping up and shit. You don't have gray hair yet. 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 I think, I think honestly, my worst fear about get, getting in age, my worst fear. Gray hair? No. Losing hair? Yes. Oh, my God. That is my <laughs> worst fear. You think you're going to go I don't bald? know. I don't want to think about it. I don't know. I see all these. I see all these men flying the turkey right. to get so, their shit done, and I'm over here just like, do I need to prepare myself? Do I need to start the trust say, fund? Usually, <laughs> a, usually a lot of guys like, like look like you have a full head of hair, like facial hair, all this shit, no, no wrinkles, no gray hairs, no nothing, 
and then by the time y'all get to that point where you're losing hair, you're looking old, your skin's not as good, your body's not as fit as you want it to be, that's when y'all decide to to slow down and and get in a serious relationship. Yeah, see, when when I, you're at that point where yeah, it's like, no. But I don't want I I want to me I would like to get into a relationship at my prime. I don't want You would think. Yeah, I don't want to be A lot of guys use that as an excuse to just <coughs> wild out forever until they get all of a sudden their hair's fucking going bald. They just start hat fishing girls. I I honestly think my prime is 28. And I, okay. and that's in that's in, you know, a couple months. But you, they say guys are in their prime in their twenties. Women are in their prime in their thirties or forties. I would, agree, I would, agree, I would agree with that. I feel like some of the some of the finest women are in their thirties. Mm-hmm. I, I think. feel like a lot of women in their thirties and forties look better than girls. In their yes, 20s. I like because they you ha, you and you don't realize that when you're in your twenties as a woman, and then you get to thirty, you're like, oh shit, I look way better than I look like in my twenties. But uh, and I also do think it's the generation. Like for example, if like now when I've talked to girls who like are in their thirty fives, mm-hmm. and I go back and I look at pictures of them. And like when they're mm-hmm. 20s, like, God dang, right. did it glow up. Right. But it's also, you know, obviously the generation that we're in, you know, how we have, you know, certain things, skin, right. you know, things that you can pay for, good health. Yeah. You know what I mean? If somebody told me the other day, he's like, girl, you ain't ugly, you just poor. You know what I mean? That's crazy. But I in think a there's sense. Certain, yeah, I think there's certain. <laughs> I think we live in an area like Scottsdale or Phoenix that actually care about their appearance more. Oh, 100%. Than other areas like LA, Scottsdale. Miami, Miami, New York. Yeah, like there's certain pockets that like I feel like they care more about appearance or like <clears throat> doing the things face card preventative, is, yeah. like Botox or even like fitness, whatever. Like I feel like there's certain areas that are more even into later in life, like fitness and their appearance and just doing things that are preventative, like Botox to like not age as much, yeah, but slow it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I need to whereas, Botox. whereas I feel like. Where I'm from, Midwest isn't. They don't give a fuck. They, but they it, usually, usually, <laughs> I'm not saying all of them, but usually they don't care as much about like fitness. They don't care as much as about appearance or Botox or cosmetic, whatever. Drink every day. Don't use. Remember a sauna. that one girl? Yeah, I know. She was like what? She was 20 a saint, something? thirty-five, and she looked old. And she looked fifty shit. something. And that, but that's scary. That like to me. That's what I'm saying. So I feel like we just live in an area that's more. Which which I'm I'm ble- I'm thankful for because but also it's the person too like yeah. I could I could live in Arkansas and I take care of my skin just yeah not everybody it's just does. kind of your environment I feel like the environment out here it's it's Arizona there's people go out every day every night day drink yeah fitness we're in swimsuits ninety percent of the year yeah shorts you yeah. know what I mean so yeah but I do agree though that women in their thirties and forties are the baddest. I think yeah, they yeah, that's they're, when they're in their prime. They're top tier. They're I they're better the the thirty third from thirty to forty, I think that region right there, top tier. Top five, top five, top five. Better than better than the twenties. Men in their thirties? Listen, I'm not even trying to get to thirty. I see some <laughs> of my brothers balding. I just couldn't. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm trying to stay out of thirty. I see a lot of men with gray hair in their thirties. I mean gr- gray hair I could do gray hair. Like Salt and pepper sprinkled in. Okay, yeah, I could. For me, I don't. If I start to get gray, say, say for example, I turn twenty eight, my whole shit go gray. There's nothing wrong with gray. I like gray. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll rock my it. My ex had like a gray patch his whole life. And That's kind of far. That's and then the, right now he's got like salt and pepper sprinkled in. Yeah, listen, in. It's, it's, it's it's dope. It's the balding for me. Mm. That's the nightmare. Mm-hmm. I know I ain't gonna get no beard, so there's no hope. <laughs> I'm I'm damn near close to thirty, like. It's, it's just so my thing, you know, Lord didn't bless me would with this. Would you color it? Like if you got some grays or would you just leave it? Like if, if I got some grays? Like sprinkled in. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Because okay. it's a nice little touch. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's the bald in that way. Mm-hmm. If if I start to, oh, I don't even want to feel it. What if the hairline starts moving back? Well, that's my that's my barber's issue first. You know <laughs> okay, I mean? but without but, the barber pushing without the it barber, back. Then we, I, need to, I need to have a, a tough decision with myself to be a Conversation. Listen. You know, how are we going to go about this? Are we mm. going to hat fish? Are we gonna, what are we going to mm. do? You know what I mean? That, you know what I mean? That, that is something that I have to have a conversation You're going to go with. to Turkey and get hair transplant? Listen, I'm seeing brothers do that left and right now. I might have to jump on that rodeo. You know what I That's mean? That's okay. And I'm not knocking them for You're it. You're just going to look goofy for a little bit. Yeah, it's it's the flight back that scares me. With the little dots all over. Yeah. 
But but if that's what you want, then no, I hope there's nothing wrong with that. No, you know, balding goes based off of genetics too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I look your at my mom father. Has a lot of hair. Yeah, they my say mom from has your. A, they say you get the gene, your hair from my, my from mother. Your mother. Yeah. yeah. Well, my mother has my, my my mom's hair is a little bit higher than mine, but she's good. Yeah. You know what I mean, my mother's not balding. My mother's got good curls. And then my dad, he's got a f- good head of hair. He just his his it. his hairline is kind of kind of kind of freaky. But it's there. When I say freaky, freaky, it's like a it's like a W. Mm. Yeah. So like it come here, and then that shit pushed back. Yeah, that's what scares me. But the thing is, he could pull a ball head with his goatee, mm. and he does a great goatee sometimes. Mm. So I'm just like silver fox. What's that? What silver fox? That's what y'all call it. <laughs> when, when guys have all, when gray, sh- all gray hair. You know what's crazy? He just posted something about his goatee like today. When he post, I'm about to show you. Cause you know he don't he don't mess with the Facebook. He go on Facebook. He on there all day. God, I need to get your dad a TikTok. No, absolutely not. That'd be the worst. It'd be funny. So like right now, right now he he rocking. Oh, it looks good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so like good. I'm like okay Silver like Fox. even 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 when he does the, is 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 pops is swole. He really is. Wow. <laughs> like he look a little dark in this one, but you know what I mean he the sun done got him that day. But it really did. You know what I mean? But I hope I hope that I can, you know, grow something like that. And I'm just like, okay. What if your balls with no go see? I th- it's over. It's it's time for me to go. It's time for me well, to I head out. I hope you keep a full head of hair. I, I, I hope so too. That's why I grow it out. Because there's no point of keeping it short. You know what I mean? You don't you know. You keep how, cutting it though. Well, because the reason why I cut it this time is because I wanted to grow it out fully. I've never grown out my hair like this. In my life, uh, uh, since I was a little kid, mm-hmm. so now I'm just like, oh, Mike. You just got to keep growing the hair. You got to keep moisturizing. Keep stay on top of your stuff. You'll be all right. But I think it'll be fine. It's scary, man. You'll be fine. All right. I saw this post that says, "Where did you meet the biggest mistake of your life?" <laughs> like female wise or male? Female? Uh, I would biggest, assume so. Where did I? Instagram. Instagram. So Instagram DMs. Yeah, she um. Did she DM me or did I DM her? I'm not 100 percent sure. I think I may have DM her, mm-hmm. but she like liked a couple pictures, so I, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think that's where I made the biggest mistake was the DMs. Hmm. Yeah. Someone said in my DMs that I should have ignored. Yeah. Yep. Insta. That's why I need to really get off this shit. Facts. <clears throat> um. Someone and this is a Justin LA boy post. Someone said right here in your comments section. Actually, Justin. Damn. <laughs> That's you meet people in comment section? I mean, you can. Hmm. I said, in City Trends, I should have known. Look where the fuck we both was at. City Trends is a... Is a Clothing store. Oh, yeah. Like a little... I've heard kinda, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of raunch it. it good, good sales. Um, Both at a damn funeral. That's, that's, I should have been more respectful to the dead. Y'all are meeting people at funerals? That's crazy. I could never... If I'm going to a funeral, what is this? Uh, wedding crashers. Remember when Will Ferrell said he's meeting girls at funerals now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. That's, I think that's the most. That's crazy to me. I could never. Like you're mourning the loss of someone, and you. <laughs> like it also. It makes on... sense because you know you're kind of in that vulnerable state for over losing. Yeah, but I couldn't. A family no, member or I something. Couldn't, like, hey, I'm very sorry for your loss. You want to go here. get a drink? I got a shoulder to yeah, cry you, on. You need you need some tissue. Oh, no, no, I just feel like that's just is just that's just messed up. No respect. No Someone respect. Someone said at work. That 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 could be. I, if there's anything <sighs> I would suggest, never meet some, never date someone you work with. Facts. And because I worked when I worked at a department store, there was someone like on the dock, someone and then someone that was a sales associate, and they dated, and then they broke up, and they still had to work together. See, that's Every freaking day. That's the problem. I do Can't not do suggest that. it. No. Uh, same with same with trainers and whatnot. Those, yes. those oh, yeah, clients. clients. Oh, my God. Speaking of. Oh, shit. If you are a trainer, listen, I feel like we have this conversation <clears throat> talk your shit. <laughs> in Arizona all the time. I feel yeah. like there are so many trainers in Arizona that date every single one of their clients or try to fuck with almost all of their clients. And we've seen it posted multiple times. This is this. There's one that happened recently. This man got posted on the "Are we dating the same guy?" Yeah, I don't have access to that. So in that's Phoenix, all Arizona, 
And I was told about it. I had to go look at it. And it's like every client he hooks up with. But, I, I mean, here's here's my thing. Obviously. Meanwhile, having no sugar mama. Must meanwhile, nice. having girls in long-term relationships. Like mean, he was in a long-term relationship? Yes. Like, apparently he has a sugar mama that goes to his gym. That pays for all his shit. Car, vacations, all this shit. What he then, I know. I know. Sounds oh. sound good, I swear. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, dating another girl that I'm sure goes to the gym for at least a year. Meanwhile, this girl that posted it was like, oh, he asked me on a date and I just started training with him. I'm just See, making sure, you know, none of y'all are dating him. And then all hell broke loose. There's like a hundred comments on this post Damn. talking about all these abortions he's had girls get and all these kids he has that he doesn't claim. You're nuts. I mean, why I, would you do that? Why, as a trainer, I feel like it's like you got to be professional. I feel like you have to you have to have a line of professional. As a certain in certain careers, you need to be professional. One hundred percent. You know what I mean? There's like one hundred percent. Like if because you're if, fucking up your own business. Because I'm pretty sure he got fired from his gym because of this. All this these posts. And it, it's it's just you just have to be professional in terms of like okay you have to you have to set a boundary. Yeah. You have to. When it comes to, and especially if you're a trainer that only trains females, because there are trainers that only trains females, and that which, gets you in trouble too. Well, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, right. Oh shit, just remember. Oh boy, like, yeah, remember? yeah. Um, but <laughs> I, to me, from coming, because I obviously you even know, that I guy was a, hooking up with his clients in the gym, in like the office. For real? Yes. See, I just don't know how people could like. For me, it's strictly. Business, right? Like it's if we're business. if we do business together, it's strictly business. If you if you come to me and say, "Hey, I want you to be my trainer," okay, that's fine. But then you say, "Hey, you want to go?" No, we it's got to be, be separate. We can yeah, it's got to be separate. But it, there's there's the no... problem is it's not like, like do this like one offs. It's every person they're yeah. training, they're trying to holler at. But it also it messes with your money too. That's what I'm saying. And you I, get fired, or these girls, you know, find out about other girls, and then all hell breaks loose. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? Like you can't you can't do that. Yeah. And when it when you start messing with my money, then it's, yeah, it's you're issue. messing with your own fucking money. That's yeah. insane. And you know, obviously, if you're t talking, if you're dating someone and you're training them, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, yeah, I train you for free. Next, you know, you're talking to a lot of girls that you train for free. Next, <laughs> you're you know, train them all for free. You're not making no money. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, yo, you got to keep it real professional. You know what I mean? But it is. I mean. But this this one this one. This trainer specifically was a guy that tried to holler at me years ago. I mm. think I told you about that. And it was like a, it was like the typical, like, he's trying to hype me up in my DMs. Say he's been like, oh, I see all the things you do. I'm so interested. I'm so this and that. I want to take you out or whatever. And then just didn't plan shit. So I was like, all right, he's not on shit. Next time he hit me up, I'm like, what happened? Yeah. You know, like, I, I didn't forget. Like, I don't forget. Mm. I'm, I'm not going to chase you to follow through with what you say you're going to do. Yeah. I just keep it in the back of my mind until the next time you hit me up. And I'll be like, remember when yeah. you said all this just to do nothing? Yeah. And then his his maximum effort was, come over, let's have a wine night. I cussed his ass out and that was, that was the end of it. Night. I never saw him. It's crazy. I ain't never used that before. Come over, let's have a wine night. Motherfucker, you just acted like you wanted to get to know me so badly. To then go ghost, then come back and just I'm not coming over, bro. Yeah, I'm not coming over. <clears throat> but apparently that works for some people. No, I mean, and it, depends it, on what you're it looking does, for. Yeah, it depends. But don't on what hype me for. up. Act like you're trying to date me and get to know me just to have me. No. Yeah, I mean. But it's just so funny. It's, it's funny when you hear shit about the people you denied because you knew they weren't shit, hmm. and then you see, yeah, I yeah. was right about it the whole time. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, hundred percent. It's like a nice little chip on your shoulder. It's like I, knew. I fucking knew. Yeah. And he's got this baby mama. He's got this baby. He's got like four or five supposedly, allegedly. And like having other girls, like, how are you fucking all your clients raw that you you have to get, have them all get abortions? You're fucking with your money. You're fucking with your business. And now everyone knows your shit. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, that Facebook, are we dating the same? <laughs> that shit there is giving you nightmares, gentlemen, because you can't hide. You, you can't. can't hide no more. So you just, you, here's what you need to do. You either just need to pick one wholesome yeah. woman that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Or if you want to date, be single. A lot of these people are married. I just heard a story today from someone I was around 
She's like, yeah, so-and-so's husband was on there under a different name. Same pictures, obviously. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. One of my homeboys, his Snapchat. That's why they made the, the page, because it's husbands and boyfriends, long-term boyfriends and shit on dating apps or, you know, Snapchatting, texting, well, messaging, that, calling. So, that's crazy you say that, because one of my homeboys, his snap, he posted something on Snapchat and said, Merry Christmas from my two kids and my wife who's at home while I'm sliding to other women's DMs. And I'm just like, wait a second, this doesn't make sense. So let me read this again. Yeah, that's what I got caught and she's on my shit. And I was like, oh shit, bro, you got caught. And I'm just like, see, that's not my place to really speak on or say shit. If you're married, why are you on dating apps? If you have a wife and kids and you're not separated or divorced, why are you looking for other women? That's cheating. I don't care. Yeah. But- why did they just, they, a lot of people do that and it doesn't make sense to me. You're just like keeping that person around. They say that men don't leave like, let's say a marriage unless they already have some other shit lined up. So even if he's mentally checked out and he's done, he doesn't want what he has, supposedly mo- majority won't leave until they already have somebody else lined mm. up. So that's why they end up on pages like this because mentally they're like, I don't want to be in this relationship. I don't want to be in this marriage, but I don't have anything else lined up yet. You know what I mean? Just leave. Just, Just leave, but or, they keep that placeholder or that it's like a comfort zone for them. Like I have a wife and kids. So until I have something else solid set up, I can't leave that. But in the meantime, you're just embarrassing. Man, I'm going to just leave you all with this, man. Just, just be true to yourself <laughs> and just find you one woman. You know what I mean? You know, and if you feel like it's not working in the situation that they then sep- not separate, but like take, or just be open have a and conversation. honest of what you want. If you yeah. don't want one person, then don't act like you just want one person. I don't know. I, you know, it's it's, it's, it's all yeah. about communication. Yeah, literally everything oh. just boils down to just communication. Listen, don't get me started with communication. We talk about that later. Literally everything just communicate the shit. What you want, what you don't want. If you're over it, communicate that. If you're want to move on, you want to date other people, communicate that. But they don't. People don't communicate that shit, and then they're just, they get posted on every day in the same guy. <sighs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs>